Hey everybody, today we will crochet this cocoon cardigan. It is a two row repeat, very easy to make and works up fast because of the lacy pattern. It can be made in sizes XS to 5XL. The written pattern and the timestamps are linked below in the description. This is a step by step beginner friendly tutorial. Hello and welcome to Let's All Crochet. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I do hope you enjoy. For this project, we can use any medium weight yarn and I'm going to leave the amount needed for each size in the description below. The yarn that I am using is Pound of Love by Lion Brands. Each skein has 454 grams in it and it is a medium weight or a weight 4 yarn. It is a 100% premium acrylic yarn. The shade of the yarn is 173 Waterfall Cascade. To crochet this cocoon shrug or cardigan, we are also going to need a 6mm or a J size crochet hook, scissors, measuring tape, tapestry needle and stitch markers. Now let's begin. So this is a schematic of our shrug. We are going to chain the width or the bottom of the shrug and we are going to continue repeating the rows till we reach the height that we want. So we are going to make a rectangle first. Then we will fold it and make armholes. So we will chain depending on the size that we are making. I will leave the gender sizes on the screen so you can decide how big you want your shrug to be. Begin with a slip knot so we can make it however we want. And now we are going to begin chain. Chain 149. To chain, we are going to yarn over and pull it through the loop. This is our first chain. Yarn over and pull it through. This is our second chain. Yarn over and pull it through. This is our third chain. So in the same way, we are going to continue making chains till we have 149 of the number we want. I will meet you once we finish. So I have finished making the chain. We can count the chain by counting the V's that we see. Let's begin row 1. We are going to double crochet in the 4th chain from the hook. So the loop on the hook does not count as a chain. This is our 1st chain. Skip it. Skip the 2nd chain. Skip the 3rd chain. This is our 4th chain. Here we will make a double crochet. So yarn over. Insert your hook into the top loop of the chain. Yarn over. And pull through. We have three loops on a hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through two. We have two loops on a hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through both those loops. So we have made a double crochet. Now we are going to double crochet in the next two chains as well. So we are going to yarn over, insert a hook into the next chain, yarn over and pull through. We have three loops on a hook. We are going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. We have worked in this chain. The next V is this and this is our next chain. So insert your hook into the next chain. Yarn over and pull through. So we have four double crochets in all. This first chain 3 that we had left is going to count as a double crochet. And the next 3 that we just made. Now we are going to begin the repeat pattern for this row. We are going to chain 3 first. So yarn over and pull through 1. 2 and 3. After we chain 3, we are going to skip 2 chains. So we have worked in this chain. You can see the double crochet. Skip the next chain and skip the next chain. Now this is the next chain and here we are going to make a single crochet. So insert your hook into this chain. Then we are going to yarn over and pull through. We have 2 loops on our hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through both. So we have made a single crochet. Now we are going to chain 5. Yarn over and pull through 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So after we chain 5, we are going to skip the next 3 chains. This is the chain with a single crochet. Skip 1, skip 2, skip 3 and this is the next chain. Here we are going to make a single crochet again. So skip 3 and here insert your hook, yarn over and pull through. We have two loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through both. Now we are going to chain 3. 
So yarn over and pull through one, two and three. We are going to skip the next two chains. So we have worked in this chain, skip this chain, skip this chain. And in this next chain, we are going to make a double crochet this time. So we are going to yarn over. After skipping two chains in the next chain, insert your hook. Then we are going to yarn over and pull through. We have three loops, yarn over and pull through two. We have two loops, yarn over and pull through. So we have made a double crochet. Now we are going to double crochet in the next three chains as well. So we made a double crochet in this chain. Yarn over, go to the next chain. Insert your hook into the chain and make your double crochet. Yarn over, go to the next chain, make your double crochet. Yarn over, go to the next chain and make your double crochet. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 double crochets in all. So now we are just going to repeat this pattern till the end of the row. Beginning from the chain 3 till the end of the 4 double crochet. So I'll do it with you once more. We are going to chain 3 first. Yarn over and pull through 1, 2 and 3. After that, we are going to skip the next 2 chains and single crochet in this next chain. Now we are going to chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. We are going to skip the next 3 chains this time and in the next chain make a single crochet. 1, 2, 3 and in this next chain we are going, I'm sorry, we are going to go into the top loop. Yarn over and pull through. We have 2 loops. Yarn over and pull through both. After this we are going to chain 3 again. Yarn over and pull through 1, 2 and 3. We are going to skip the next two chains and double crochet in the next chain. So I have already yarn over, insert your hook, make your double crochet. Now we are going to double crochet in this next chain. We are going to double crochet in the next chain. double crochet in the next chain. So we have four double crochets in all. We are going to continue repeating this pattern till the end of the row. We are going to chain three, skip two chains, single crochet in the next chain. Chain five, skip three chains, single crochet in the next chain. Chain three, skip two chains and double crochet in the next four chains. So I will meet you at the end of the row. So I have reached the last repeat. After the 4 double crochet, we begin the repeat. We are going to chain 3, skip 2 chains, single crochet in the next chain, chain 5, skip 3 chains and single crochet in the next chain. We are going to chain 3. Skip 2 chains and begin double crocheting in the last 4. 1, 2, 3 and in the very last chain we are going to make our last double crochet. So now we have reached the end of row 1. If we count all our stitches, we are going to have 12 of these 4 double crochets like this and 11 of these mesh patterns. So all this we are going to have 11 like this and 12 of these in all. Now let's go to row 2. So our stitch count is going to depend on the chain that we began with. I have 12 of these double crochet sets and 11 of these mesh sets. 
Hey guys, if you are enjoying the video so far, I'll be very grateful if you can press on the like button so this video can reach more people. Now let's continue. Let's go to row 2. We are going to chain 2 and turn our yarn over and pull through 1, yarn over and pull through 2. After this, we are going to turn our work and now we are going to work in this direction. So this chain 2 is going to count as our first double crochet and we are not going to work into this first stitch. So from the second stitch of this V that we see here, we are going to begin making double crochet. Don't work into this very first stitch, go to the next V. So yarn over into the second double crochet into the top V. So we are going to go below both the loops of the V, then we are going to yarn over and pull through. We have three loops on our hook, we are going to yarn over and pull through two. We have two loops on our hook, we are going to yarn over and pull through them. So we have made a double crochet. In the same way, we are going to make a double crochet in this next stitch as well. So go below both the loops of the V and make your double crochet. Make a double crochet in this next stitch as well. So we are going to go below both the loops of the V and make a double crochet. Just like the last row, after we finish our 4 double crochets, this chain 2 counts as a double crochet, we made 3 more. Now we are going to begin our repeat pattern for this row. So now we are going to double crochet into this chain 3 space. So this is the chain 3 we made in the previous row and in this last space we are going to make one double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook right into the space like this. Then we are going to yarn over and pull through. We have three loops, we are going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So we have made a double crochet in this space. Now we are going to chain 3. One, two. And 3. After this, we are going to jump to this next chain 5 space. So skip over the single crochet that you see right into this chain 5 or this large space. We are going to insert a hook into the space. Then we are going to yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through 2. So we have made a single crochet in the chain 5 space. Now we are going to chain 3. 1, two and three. We are going to jump to this next chain three space and make a double crochet in it. So yarn over, go right into the space, make your double crochet. And now we have reached these four double crochets. We are going to make a double crochet in all of them. So start from the first one, make a double crochet here, here, here and then here. Do it together, double crochet in the first, we are going to go below both the loops of the V. Double crochet in the second double crochet. Double crochet in the third. And double crochet in the fourth. So now we are just going to continue repeating this pattern till the end of the row. I am going to do it once more with you in the repeat pattern with a double crochet in this chain 3 space. Then we are going to chain 3, jump to the chain 5 space. We are going to skip over the single crochet. Jump directly into this next space, which is the chain 5 space. Make a single crochet. After this, we are going to chain 3 again. And we are going to jump over the single crochet to this next chain 3 space. Make a double crochet in it. going to double crochet in each of these next four double crochet. So double crochet in this first, double crochet, double crochet in the next, 
double crochet in the next and double crochet in the fourth and the last. So we're going to continue repeating this pattern till the end of the row and I will meet you once we finish. Double crochet in the chain 3 space, chain 3, make a single crochet in the chain 5 space, chain 3, make a double crochet in the chain 3 and double crochet in the next row, double crochet. I will meet you at the end of this row. The end of the row, I have a mesh pattern and 4 double crochet left. So let's work the last repeat together. We are going to double crochet in the chain 3 space. After that, we are going to chain 3. Make a single crochet in this next chain 5. Chain 3. Double crochet in the chain 3 space. And now we are going to double crochet in these last four. So make a double crochet in the first, double crochet, double crochet in the next, double crochet in the next. Now we have only this chain 3 stitch left. So this is our first chain, this is our second chain and this on top here is our third chain. So in this third chain, we are going to make a double crochet to end this row. This chain 3 counts as a double crochet. So we are going to double crochet in this third chain to end our row. So make sure you enter the third chain. And we are going to yarn over and pull through and make a double crochet. Now we are going to go to row 3. Begin row 3 with a chain 2. Now we are going to turn our work. So this chain 2 is again going to count as a double crochet and we are not going to work into this very first double crochet. So now we are going to make a double crochet in this next double crochet. Don't work into the first double crochet from the next V. Insert your hook and make your double crochet. Now we are going to double crochet in the next double crochet as well. After this, we are going to double crochet in this next double crochet. So we have one chain 2 that counts as a double crochet and three more double crochet. Let's begin our repeat pattern for this row. We are going to chain 3. 1, 2 and 3. Now we are going to jump to this chain 3 space. So this is our double crochet. We are just going to jump over it to the chain 3 space here. So insert your hook into the space and make a single crochet. After this, we are going to chain 3 again. 1, 2 and 3. We are going to jump over the single crochet to this next space here. This next chain 3 space, we are going to make a single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull through. We have two loops on our hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through both these loops. After you make the single crochet, we are going to chain 3. 1, 2 and 3. Now we are going to jump over this one double crochet. So don't work in this next double crochet that you see. Jump to this next double crochet. We have skipped this double crochet and in the next double crochet, we are going to make a double crochet. We will yarn over first, skip this double crochet into the next double crochet. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through too. Yarn over and pull through two. So we made a double crochet. We are going to make a double crochet in the next double crochet. Double crochet in the next. And double crochet in the next. So we have four double crochets. So this is our repeat pattern. Let's do it together once again. We are going to chain three. Jump to this chain 3 space and make a single crochet. Don't work into this double crochet. Then we are going to chain 3. Skip the single crochet. Jump to this next gap in this chain 3. Make a single crochet. Now we are going to chain 3 again. We are going to jump over this double crochet. So skip this double crochet, 
into the next double crochet next double crochet double crochet into the next double crochet into the next and double crochet into the next so we have four double crochets in all going to continue repeating this pattern till the end of the row and I will meet you at the last repeat. So I've reached the last repeat. I have made four double crochet. Now we are going to chain three. Skip over this next double crochet. Single crochet in this chain three space. Chain three again. Skip the single crochet, jump to the chain three space, make a single crochet. After this, we will chain 3. We are going to jump over this one double crochet here and come to the next double crochet. So skip one double crochet and in the next double crochet, we are going to make a double crochet. Double crochet in the next double crochet as well. Double crochet in the next double crochet and now we have reached our chain 2 stitch so this is our first chain and this is our second chain we have said that this chain 2 counts as a double crochet so into the second chain we are going to make a double crochet as well so yarn over insert your hook into the second chain make sure you go into the chain and we are going to yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through 2 yarn over and pull through 2 so we have ended with 4 double crochet. So now we are just going to continue repeating row 2 and row 3 for pattern till we finish the entire height of the rectangle. So I am going to make it 25 inches. We will continue repeating row 2 and row 3 till the height of the rectangle reaches from our neck to just above our hips. So I will meet you once you finish. Now I have finished this entire height of my rectangle. And you can see on the screen, this is my rectangle. So before we sew, we are going to cut this yarn off. So first we are going to leave about 20 inches of the yarn and cut it off. Now we are going to tap on our hook and pull out a loop. So we have left these 20 inches to sew the sides closed. So now we are going to begin making the armholes. First we have to fold this in half. Before we fold our shrug, we want to make sure that the right side is facing up. So when the slip knot is at the bottom left like this, this is the right side of our shrug. And now we are going to fold this. So let us now fold it in half. We are going to bring the top that is here or the last row and fold it like this. So now the wrong side of our rectangle faces us. This is what my rectangle looks like after folding. Next we are going to add two stitch markers. One on this side and one on this side. So first we are going to leave a small gap on top here for the armhole and a small gap on top here for the armhole. Add the stitch marker on both the sides. And then we are going to begin closing from the bottom till the stitch marker. So we will sew from the bottom till the stitch marker. So I am going to leave about 6 inches as the armhole on top here. I am going to leave some general sizes on the screen. You can decide how big or small you want your armhole to be. Just turn this folded part sideways like this. So here is the closed part and this on the top here is my armhole. So I've taken my measuring tape and I've measured almost 6 inches or a little less than 6 inches and added my stitch marker. So we're going to begin sewing from the bottom here till we reach the stitch marker here. And on the top here is our armhole. So we will leave this open. So make sure that the sides lie exactly against one another. What I've done is just counted the double crochet rows on this side as well as on this side from this end because it's easier to count and then added a stitch marker so that the number of rows here and here are the same. And now we're going to begin closing from this end. So what I'm going to do is close with the whip stitch. You can close with any stitch that you want. I'm going to insert my needle on the first side and then on the second side in the very last stitch. I'm going to tug on my needle. Move the tail end aside if it's in the way. Then come back to the first side and then into the second side. 
tap on the needle. We want to move these loops to the top. Again come back to the first side and then into the second side. Tap on the needle. So in the same way we are going to continue closing going from the first side to the second side tugging on the needle till we reach the stitch marker. So I have reached the stitch marker now. So I am just going to go one extra time from the first side to the second side at the stitch marker. And now we are going to weave this yarn tail in. So make sure and weave it in only on one side. You don't want to go to both these together or you will sew your shrug closed. I'm going to take the needle and just go 3 to 4 times in the opposite direction with it. So you can go any direction that you want as long as you go through only one layer of the shrug. So once you finish doing this, you are going to take a scissor and then cut the tail off here. In the same way as we close the first side, we are going to close the second side as well. Take a 20 inch piece of yarn this time because we don't have any extra yarn. So we are going to start closing at the ends here till the stitch marker here. Make sure you have counted the same number of rows on this side as the other side so that both the armholes are of the same size. So I am going to close in exactly the same way. Into the last stitch, I am going to insert a needle on this side and then on this side. Tug on the needle. So if you want, you can take this tail end and tie a small knot here. We will weave this end in later. Now take the tapestry needle. In exactly the same way, go from one side to the other side. Tug on the needle. Come back to the first side. Insert your needle. Go to the other side tug on the needle, the loops are going to lie on top and continue closing till you reach the stitch marker here. So I will meet you once you finish. Once we reach the stitch marker here, we are going to weave the yarn tail end just on one side. So this is what my shrug looks like after sewing. So now let's make a border for the shrug. We want to make sure that the wrong side is on the inside here and when we turn the shrug, the right side is on the outside. So on our back you can see the right side. The chain is at the bottom here. So we are going to attach the yarn anywhere in the bottom here and start making a border. So I am going to attach it at this corner and then we are going to make the border in rounds like this. So once we finish the first round we will continue with the second round and so on. So now we are going to attach the yarn for the border. So this is the bottom chain of my shrug. And this is the inside or the wrong side of my shrug. So on the other side here is the right side. So when I wear it, this right side faces out. So we are going to make the border on the right side. So I am going to start here and work upwards first. Then go all around, come back down here and then come across the bottom here till I reach the end of the round. I am going to insert my hook into this first double crochet here. So I am going to turn my work. This is the right side. This is my first double crochet and at the bottom, there is a small gap between the chain and the double crochet. I am going to insert my hook like this. Catch the new yarn in a loop form on the hook and pull it through. And now we are going to chain 1. Single crochet in the same stitch. We are going to go back to the same chain. Yarn over and pull through. We have two loops on our hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through both. This is the inside or the wrong side. And this is the right side. I am working my single crochets in this direction along this chain. So we are going to go to the next double crochet. At the bottom you can see a small gap. Insert your hook. Make a single crochet. So in the next chain. In the next chain. And now we have reached the mesh part. So for the mesh part, in this first gap, I am going to make 2 single crochet. So 1 and 2. Now here you can see we have made a single crochet. At the bottom in the, ch in the chain here, we are going to make 1 single crochet. In this next gap, I am going to make 3 single crochet. 1, 2, 
3. This is a single crochet that we have made. So in the same chain, I'm going to make one single crochet. Now this is the next large gap. I'm going to make two single crochets in it. One and two. And now we have reached a four double crochet. We're going to make one single crochet in each chain. So one, two, three, and four. So we can distribute the single crochets however we want. This is how I am doing it. In the first gap, I am going to make two single crochets, then a single crochet in the same chain as the next single crochet. Then this is the second gap. I am going to make three single crochets here. One, two, three. At the bottom of this chain, we will make one single crochet. It's the same chain that we have made a single crochet in on this side. Now this is my third gap. Here I'm going to make two single crochet, one and two. After this, I've reached my four double crochet. In every double crochet in the chain below, we're going to make one single crochet each. So we're going to continue all around till we reach the beginning of the round here. So I will meet you once we finish. I've reached the end of round one. This is a single crochet round. So I have ended with two single crochets in this last space and now I'm going to join by a slip stitch to this first single crochet. So we're going to insert our hook below both the loops of the wheel, yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. So let's go to round two. We're going to begin with a chain one, single crochet in the same stitch. So if we spread the stitch a little, you will see a gap here. We're going to go back like this, yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through both. Now we are going to chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Skip the next 2 single crochet and make a single crochet in the next single crochet. So skip, skip, single crochet. So this is going to be our pattern for this round. We are going to chain 3, skip 2 single crochet and make a single crochet in this next single crochet. So do it again. We are going to chain 3. After we do that, we are going to skip the next two single crochet and in the next single crochet, we will make a single crochet. So in the same way, we are going to continue till we reach the end of the round. We are going to chain 3, skip the next two single crochet, single crochet in the next single crochet. So I will meet you at the end of this round. So I've reached the end of round 2. I've made a single crochet and then chain 3. I have 3 single crochet left after this. So I'm just going to skip all 3 and join by a slip stitch to this first single crochet. So if you have 1 single crochet, 2 single crochet or 3 single crochet left, you will just skip all of them and join by a slip stitch to the first single crochet of the round. So this is a chain 1 stitch and this is a first single crochet. Insert your hook below both the loops of the wheel. Yarn over pull through and pull through the loop on the hook. This is the end of round 2. Round 3. So we are going to start round 3 a little differently. We are going to insert a hook in this space and make a slip stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on the hook. After you make a slip stitch, we are going to chain 1 and single crochet in the same space. So go back, make a single crochet. After this, we are going to chain 3. Then we are going to jump to the next chain 3 space here and make a single crochet in it. So the repeat pattern for this row is very easy. We are going to chain 3, jump to the next space here and make a single crochet in it. Chain 3, sorry. Jump to the next space here and make a single crochet in it. So we are going to continue do, doing this till the end of the round and I will meet you there. So I have reached the end of round 3. Single crochet in the last chain 3 space. After that we are going to chain 3. Now this is the first single crochet of the round. This is a chain 1 stitch. So in the first single crochet we are going to make a slip stitch. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. From now on, we are just going to repeat round 3 for pattern till we finish our entire border. 
So you can repeat it as many times as you want. I'm just going to start the next round with you. We're going to start each round with a slip stitch to the next chain 3 space which is this space. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on the hook. Then we are going to chain 1, single crochet in the same space. Then we are going to chain 3, single crochet in the next chain 3 space, chain 3, single crochet in the next chain 3 space and so on. We are going to continue till we reach the end of the round and join by a slip stitch to the first single crochet of the round. So continue repeating this round as many times as you want and I will meet you once you finish. So for the center of the shrug, I have repeated row 3 14 more times. So I have 17 rows in all. So you can make this as broad or narrow as you want. For the border of the armhole, we know that this is the armhole and this is the seam at the bottom here. So at the end of the seam, we will attach the yarn and make the armhole border in rounds like this. Same for the other side, attach the yarn at the end of the seam here and then make the armhole border in rounds like this. So you can see on the top is my armhole here and at the bottom we have the seam. Here we have the border of the shrug. So here we are going to attach the yarn to begin the border of the armhole. So I am going to attach the yarn at the seam and make sure you are working on the right side of the work. So insert your hook, catch the yarn in a loop form and pull it through. So after this we are going to chain 1 and single crochet in the same stitch. So we have single crocheted in the same gap or the same stitch and we are going to make one more single crochet in the same space. So now at the side of every double crochet row, we are going to make two single crochet. So this is the next row, I am going to make one and two single crochet. Same for the next row. So we are going to continue in the same way till we reach the end of the round and I will meet you there. So at the end of the round, we want to have a multiple of three. So you can reduce the stitches by one or add an extra stitch if needed. So that at the end of the round, you have a multiple of 3. I have reached the end of the round and in the last row, I have made only one single crochet. Because I have a multiple of 3 now, I am not going to add an extra single crochet. And now I am going to join by a slip stitch to the first single crochet of the round. So we are going to insert a hook, I'm sorry, and make a slip stitch. Now we are going to chain 1. And single crochet in the same stitch. So from now on the rounds are same as the center. So we are going to chain 3, skip 2 single crochet and single crochet in the next stitch. So this is round 2 exactly the same as the center. We are going to chain 3, skip 2 single crochet and single crochet in the next stitch. Continue doing this till the end of the round and I will meet you there. So I have reached the end of the round. And after my last single crochet, I have two single crochets left. So we are going to chain three and join by a slip stitch to the first single crochet of the round. We are going to skip these two single crochets, join by a slip stitch to the first single crochet of the round. And this is the end of round one. Uh, sorry, round two. Round three is exactly like the center. We are going to make a slip stitch in the next chain three space first. We are going to chain one. Single crochet in the same space, chain 3, jump to the next space, make a single crochet, chain 3, jump to the next space, make a single crochet, continue till the end of the round and join by a slip stitch to the first single crochet of the round. We are going to repeat round 3 for pattern as many times as we want. So I will meet you once you finish the entire sleeve. Keep repeating round 3 exactly like the center of the shrug. So for the sleeve, I have repeated row 3 8 more times. I have 11 rows in all, counting from the single crochet row. So this is my second armhole and in exactly the same way as the first, we are going to attach the yarn at the seam here and work it in round. So make sure you make the same number of stitches in round 1 so that both the armholes are same. And you are going to repeat the round the same number of times. So I will meet you once you finish this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Here are some similar tutorials you may like.